Well, the number of children suffering from depression is on the rise, in part because of the pandemic. So how do you know when your child is dealing with depression or just going through a rough patch? Now, this morning, John Shumway has some answers for you. Now, you know your child, and when they get withdrawn or quiet, we worry. So let's talk about what to watch out for. Those who help kids all the time say each child is different, but there are some common signs. When you start to notice changes within your child, so they're going to be withdrawn. Um, so feeling like down, depressed, sad, tearful, irritable, persistently. Sarah Banks is a licensed professional counselor dealing with kids four and up. Dr. Matthew Sanchez is a child adolescent psychiatrist, both with Cranberry Psychological Centers. Both see a wide range of symptoms that point to depression. Sleep disturbance, so whether that's excessive sleep or not sleeping. We think about persistent lack of enjoyment in things that kids would otherwise usually like to do. They're no longer engaged with their friends. Uh, more isolation, more self-blame, guilt about things. Add appetite change and not wanting to go to school to that list. So when do you consider intervention? When it's consistent and it's over a long period of time. It's for at least two weeks, um, but for many kids, it's longer than that. The natural first step is just to talk to them. The best way I usually say is to go about with like open-ended questioning, just, hey, how are you feeling? How are things going? Has anything been bothering you lately, right? Not nothing accusatory, um, making it clear that you're on their side. If that doesn't work, reach out to school counselor or um, your pediatrician or a therapist. Banks says the pandemic isolated a lot of kids. So I'm seeing them much younger now, and it's, it's very devastating. Dr. Sanchez says your kids may be more open to counseling than you think. They really do end up wanting to talk about what's been going on, um, talk about what's been stressing them out. But just talking doesn't always work. And coming up, we'll get into when medications are indicated and what it means long term.